The composition of residual mixture will be if 30 grams of magnesium combines with 30 grams of oxygen. See, Mg plus O2 gives rise to MgO. In order to balance this, we are converting like this. Now, it clearly shows 2 into 24 grams of magnesium requires 32 grams of oxygen. 2 into 24 means 48 grams. 48 grams requires 32 grams. But here both are given 30 grams only. That means oxygen is going to be a limiting reagent. If not, forget about this. Just check if 30 grams of magnesium is there, how much of oxygen is required. First, let us find which is limiting reagent. You can start from oxygen also. I am taking magnesium. Your choice, your wish. Okay. Now if 30 grams of magnesium is taken, actually how much of oxygen is required? Kitna chai up neko. Mana kenta kawa. Ajud the first one. 30 into 32 by 2 into 24. So you can say 8, um, 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, 8, 32, na? 2, 1, 2, 4, za. so this is going to be 120 by 6, means 20 grams of oxygen is enough better. But how much is given to you? 30 grams. 30 grams is supplied. But 20 grams is enough means 10 grams of O2 is left. 10 grams of O2 is left to 20. So this is not your answer. This is not your answer. So this is your answer. But how you know that this is 50 grams? Then go for another calculation. 2 moles of magnesium, 2 into 24 gram of magnesium gives. Now this is the limiting reagent LR and this is excess. So don't calculate according to excess reagent do on the concept of limiting reagent 2 mgo 2 moles of magnesium 2 into magnesium oxide molecular mass is 40 magnesium 24 oxygen 16 then here given to us is 30 grams 30 grams gives how much 30 into 22 into 40 by 2 into 24 right 3 tens 3, nah? yes, uh, let it be, so 30 only, I am not changing this, this is 4 times the 4, 6, 6, 1 6, 5, so 5 into 10 is 50 grams, correct, 50 grams of magnesium oxide.